Hey everybody, welcome back to my world, where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up and you are never too old for doll hunting. It has been so exciting. October 1st, officially, Monster High dolls were released. Of course, they've been out since like August, depending on where you go. This cat has been so out of the bag, but it's okay. It's fine. We survived. And for everybody out there, I posted something about this on Instagram this morning that like, it, it, there's like all of these posts all over Instagram and stuff, and I'm sure there's TikToks and whatever, people finding the dolls. And and if you're not able to go out doll hunting, or if you live in an area that like, you know, your stores are always behind everybody, there's this whole FOMO going on. And then there's also the stress of, by the time I get to my stores, will the dolls that I want still be there? Or will there only be jacked up ones? Like, it's like, it feels stressful, but I realized this year, I've made a lot of realizations this year, psychologically, and one of them is that I very often confuse excitement with anxiety. Because they actually feel very much the same in your body, and biochemically, it's the same stuff happening. It's just the meaning that you put on that whole biochemical process that then says, am I excited or am I nervous and anxious? And I got very confused again this morning. I was seeing all these posts and my heart started to beat faster and my chest got a little tight and my throat got tight and my thoughts were getting all <laughs> and I thought I was having an anxiety attack. Actually, I was just really excited. <laughs> and if you struggle with sometimes understanding and interpreting your own feelings, you're not alone. I am a grown ass woman. I'm going to be 55 in three months. What? And I'm still figuring it out. So give yourself lots of grace out there, people. It's just, it takes time. Having said all of that, I was running around today and on my way to my mom's, I go past a Target and a Walmart. It's pouring down buckets. I just got my COVID booster and my flu shot. And I'm, I got to stop and get bagels. And I had to get my mom's iced coffee. And I had to get donuts for Caden. And it was like one of those mornings. And I was like, I don't care. I am going to Target on the way to mom's. And I was rewarded with Gulia. So Gulia is a Target exclusive, which I only found out like either last night or this morning. So you will not find her on Amazon or at Walmart or at the Toys R Us and the Macy's. She's at Target. We know how that works when dolls are a single retailer exclusive. It's a hunt. It's a hunt. So just sharpen your hunting claws and you just, you know what? I found her today. You might find her Wednesday. You might find her two weeks from now. And you will be just as happy when you find her as I was today. And it's all going to be okay. So let's all just... And just enjoy the flood of Monster High goodness on social media. So this is the new Gulia Yelps. So, Gulia. First of all, I would like to say a huge thank you to Monster High for bringing this character back. Now, she is going to be slightly different. She's in the live action musical, but I don't know if she has any lines. I don't really know. But she's definitely in the animated series, but they've changed her a little bit. So here's her artwork. I think her artwork is adorable. Adorable, so adorable. That's like a tattoo right there. That is so cute. So, 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 so cute. And so Gulia is, uh, so her monster type is totally, totally brainy zombie. Her monster must have is her skateboard and her brain puffs. And her monster pet is still Sir Hoots a lot or Crescent if you happen to be buying her in Canada. Yes, the folks in Canada have been blessed with a factory error that got delivered to all of their stores and where it says Sir Hoots a lot here for the pet, it says Crescent. So that's really cool. Um, and so the story is, let's just, let's take a quick look at her in the box and then I'm gonna rip into this box. Her story is that she is a skater, skater ghoul and a gamer. Uh, super smart still, 
and I don't know yet if this Boulia uh, speaks or not. Uh, so I don't know. Um, you guys can tell me if you know in the comments down below. So here she is now without the plastic. I have to say, you know, Monster High boxes were always the easiest to open and it's staying that way. Um, so instead of just being a super smart, you know, computer whiz, uh, she is uh, a gamer, which totally makes sense for 2022, right? I mean, that, that totally makes sense to me. And I loved that, um, to me, and I think to so many people, uh, Gulia was always, seemed like a neurodiverse character. And I think, you know, for a lot of neurodiverse uh, kids out there in, in 2010, um, you know, Gulia was was an icon, was somebody that they could relate to and 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 you know, like somebody who seemed like them. And you know, we still get comments to this day about, uh, from people who grew up watching my son and I when we used to do this channel together. And so many of them comment about how seeing Caden uh, on YouTube when they were little made them feel like, wow, there's somebody else out there like me. And uh, it's, it's amazing how many of you uh, also, you know, go on to tell me that you, you are uh, trans guys as well, that you related to Caden when you were a little kid. And, uh, and you know, as an adult or an older, older teen, you're a trans guy and you're kind of like, wow, it's kind of just amazing how that all worked out. And I'm like, that is so cool. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that the neurodiversity of Gulia is still in place. Um, cause that would feel like a horrible thing to change. Um, you know, I feel like she was one of the first, and I mean, to this day, she feels like she's still like the only neurodiverse doll character. Um, and you guys, I know you'll all jump in to correct me, but please do. But like in my mind, in my, in my little head, my little world of thinking. Um, and so I would hate to lose that is what I'm trying to say here. So I'm hoping that she is still neurodiverse because that was amazing. And if she speaks, that's that's cool. Although for, um, you know, uh, neurodiverse people with, you know, stands anymore, right? Yeah. Neurodiverse people who, um, you know, don't speak or don't speak very awesome, very awesome, very often um, people with selective mutism. I think it was, I think it was really great again, to have a doll and a character in a kid's, kid's uh, show that was, you know, not, not very verbal or not verbal at all, really. Just sort of uh, had her own way of communicating. And I loved that everybody understood her and um, how much they loved her and accepted her and her relationship with Cleo was always just such a big deal to me. Sorry, I, 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 I'm, I literally just got out of the shower. I came in looking like a drowned rat and I threw myself in the shower to warm up and then I threw on some eyeliner and lipstick and here we are. <laughs> it's like the old days. Okay. So here she is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's look at all of her accessories first. So she comes with a beanie that has a little brain on it. So brains are still very important to our little zombified girl here. Dig in the beanie. And then of course, as I showed you, we have Sir Hoots a lot. Love Sir Hoots a lot. And then she's got her snack is her brain puffs. So cute. So, so cute. Sorry, my hands are so, I'm like shaking like a leaf today. It's okay, it's been a busy day. And then she also comes with her eye coffin and I'm trying, I can't really see very well who's on here. There you go, eye coffin. And I love how her case, she's got a little case and it's a brain. It's so cute. And then she also comes with her very own Nintendo Switchy looking little thing. I would have loved this if this had a brain case on it too, but I guess that's just too much of a theme. And then her skateboard, which, you know, looks pretty boring, right? Nope, dead fast. So cool, so, so cool. And now here she is. So her hair, 
Um, I can't tell the difference between the hair types, but I have a feeling that this is polypropylene, but it's straight, so you really don't have to do much to it. Um, at the Monster High educational thing that I went to a couple of weeks ago, we did ask how they choose which hair to use, and they use the, um, what is it, Saran? What's the other one? The other hair the good hair, let's call it, um, when they're doing like regular, you know, most hair, but if they need to get a really bright color, that's when they use the poly is what we found out. So here she is. So her hair is, you know, it's straight, silky, a little jagged. Um, I wish that her glasses were see-through because we cannot see her eyes. And here are her gorgeous eyes. And it's interesting, you know, when you pull her glasses up, her facial sculpt is better than I thought it was. I thought it was more of a baby face kind of thing. And she's got these really cute, by the way, her earrings are tombstones. So, so cute. I love, you know, I loved the old earrings, loved the old earrings, but you know. Um, so her face is more mature looking than I expected. Um, She's cute. She's cute. I just wish her, her glasses were see-through because you cannot see her eyes and that's bugging me. Now her outfit, she's got this really cool sort of stretchy jacket on and it's brain, brain. And then we've got kind of a lime green. And then what does this say on it? Brains. That's what it says. It just says brains. I was like trying to make it be a word and could not figure out why it didn't look like a word. And I like how this is like an oversized jacket and it's got like a little bit of a little bit of a hem at the edge. And then let's take this off so we can see the rest of her. One thing that I wish they would do that we've had on, you know, Rainbow High and OMGs forever is nail polish because you know, obviously, you guys know I'm all about the nails. Um, and I think it's a missed opportunity to put some nails on these cute hands. Um, and then she's got this really cool shirt that I feel like, you know, these multicolors and kind of the like the brain, you know, sort of, I don't know. I don't know. Is that like an homage to neurodiversity? I don't know. Uh, and then her around her waist, she's got these little broken hearts. Oh, cute. I didn't realize that when you pull this down, her shirt is all like cut off. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that jaggedness. And then this lime green zipper with no zipper pull. And this is like a shiny plasticky material. I wish it were red. It's not. It's pink. And her really, really cool boots. Really, really cool. She also has a blue backpack that's just kind of a piece of plastic, also with some sort of a brainy texture. And then this is what she looks like from the back. Now, I can't help but do this, you know. Um, this is one of my original Goulias. I have many. Let me just take her glasses off for a second. So I think, I think the head cannon I'm working on here, aside from skin color, this is what I'm working on. This is Gulia in high school, and this is like 27 year old Gulia. And that's how I'm making this work. I think the facial sculpts are not as different as I originally thought they were. And I think a lot of it is in the makeup. Obviously, the lips are smaller. Um, you know, the hair is darker. Obviously, the color scheme is completely different. But I could get on board with this being high school Gulia and this being grown up Gulia. I could, I could make that work in my head. I can. Can you? What do you think? What do you guys think? I think she's super cute. I think she's super, super cute, um, and I just think, you know, they're, they've, they've gone with a younger look, and this is what their research and their focus groups with actual kids who are the actual target market, this is what they wanted. This is what they asked for. They asked for dolls that look like this, 
and that's great because that's who the dolls are made for. I mean, the good news is, is we're still getting dolls that look like this, uh, which I still think is, is, it blows my mind that Mattel and Monster High are doing that, that they're giving us, us OG people, collectors out there, like, I know a lot of you guys are OG collectors, that we can still get, like, we have real drama and, you know, different collectors dolls. There is going to be some sort of a something having to do with Gulia that is yet to come uh, with our original facial sculpt. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm very happy about that. But the Haunt Couture dolls, that's done. So it's not going to be a Haunt Couture. I don't know what it's going to be, but that's fine. It's all good. It's all good. My ghoul is, is still alive in the new world of Monster High, and she's still alive to all of us OG collectors. So super excited for the new Ghoulia Yelps, except for the foggy glasses. How can she see anything? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm loving the beanie or not. Uh, you know, we got to, got to adapt to a new look. In general, I have to say, not a fan of beanies. Because I'm 55, it's not my that's not my style, you know? That's not, that's, that's many generations behind me, the beanie. Okay, not many, a couple, a couple. So anyway, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Did you uh, go hunting? Was your hunting fruitful? Are you gonna wait? I know we all have a lot of opinions on the new look and I am so glad that she's back because Monica was an okay looking doll, hated her character, and I was so ticked off that there was no Gulia in the reboot. So ticked off. Uh, so I'm so glad that she's back. Because that's why I kept asking everybody, everybody, in the years that they've been working on the, the, the return of Monster High, I would always be like, but is Gulia coming back? But no, just tell me, is Gulia coming back? And they would be, mm, you have to wait and see, which always made me feel like, yes, she was coming back. But until I actually saw her in Target, and then my heart went pitter-patter, pitter-patter, she's back. Mm. She's back. But comment down below, I wanna hear everything that you have to say, but do you wanna wear your, wanna wear your big girl glasses? See? Look at how cute she is with her big girl glasses. How hard would that have been to put clear glasses on the girl? Come on! Come on, Mattel. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think. I love you all so much, and I will see you again real soon. Bye!